Hello everyone, my name is Pokemonfish and welcome back to another video. Today I am showcasing this really cool uh, Pufferfish activated redstone signal, which I think is a really cool idea because there's no buttons or levers or hidden anything involved and it's using a very simple idea, which I think is great. Uh, the idea came from a episode of Hermitcraft um, and I just thought I'd figure out how to make it and do a video on it. So. Let's quickly go over what this does. So when you go up close to it, pufferfish grows, and you will get a redstone signal once it gets to this size. And then when you leave the zone, it will slowly shrink down, turning off the redstone signal, and once again. So like you could have a redstone door because this is the furthest block away that he'll get activated at. So if you have a redstone door right here, which is totally possible if you do it right. Um, you could have some sort of redstone door if you had a bottom top redstone door uh, which I may make a video about if you guys want to know how anyways I just thought this is a really cool idea and if we go into um, game mode creative we can show you how to build this so all you're gonna need is two of any block one of any slab one bucket of pufferfish two tripwire hooks one string and one name tag um, yeah, so go ahead and pick the block that you want the puppers to be in, put a slab there, then go ahead and put a block here and here, put a tripwire hook there and there, go ahead and put the pufferfish on the slab there, as you can see, perfect. In survival, I'd be careful when placing this, I'd probably place that last, place the string, and then go ahead and make your wall or whatever, out of whatever block you want. And uh, yeah, don't forget to name your pufferfish though, because that is pretty important um, so it doesn't despawn, so you have infinite door. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. I'm out. Bye.